Hey there, everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. We're glad you're here. Let's pray together as we come to God's Word today. Father in heaven, we love you and we thank you for the day you've given. And Father, we ask that you would bless this day. And Lord, in all that it entails, and Lord, we pray that you'd use us for your glory. Father, as we come to your word at this time, we ask that you would use it to strengthen our hearts, uh, to give us the help and hope we need to navigate through life's trials. Lord, we ask that you would send revival. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. Let's go ahead and open our Bibles to Psalm 71. Psalm number 71. And uh, in verse number 3, uh, we find... Um, our text here today the Bible says be thou my strong habitation whereunto I may continually resort now thou hast given commandment to save me for thou art my rock and my fortress and uh, think of a habitation what is a habitation a habitation is where where we live it's where we reside it's where we dwell and uh, as as God's children we have a habitation our habitation, of course, it's not speaking of our earthly home. It's not the house with a roof over our head. Um, it's, it is, it's not the, the local church house, though we're not diminishing the significance of either of these institutions. But we come and we find that, that our hope, that our help comes primarily from the Lord. And it is God who is our strong habitation. The Lord Jesus Christ, in whom we trust, in whom we find our salvation, He is our strong habitation. It's interesting, the word strong, it defines uh, how resolute and unchanging uh, the habitation is. This means it can weather a storm. It means it can, it can, do it, uh, it can stand the test of time. Even in, at the end of verse number 3, it says, Thou hast given commandment to save me, it says, For thou art my rock and my fortress. A rock, it's not talking about just a, sto a loose stone that, that you can go outside and, and find. Uh, it's, it's, it's a boulder. <laughs> it's a rock. It's something that is unmoving. It doesn't matter uh, what, uh, what the storms of life might be. It doesn't matter how hard the wind blows. It doesn't matter how heavy the rain falls. Uh, the elements are not going to change the position or the structure of the rock. And may I tell you, that is what you and I have in Jesus Christ. Uh, the world, the struggles that we, that we endure, that we face, um, all of these things um, will never have an impact on the position of Christ. He's unchanging. He's unchangeable. The Bible says, I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. M may I tell you, that, that you and I, no matter what we face in life, no matter how uh, arduous life might be, no matter how disappointing life might be, frustrating, stressful, worrisome, you and I, we can resort to our strong habitation, who is Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, Be thou my strong habitation, whereunto I may continually resort. You know, we don't have to... Uh, this is the desire of God that we would that we would come and that we would stay that to continually resort there. It's not to come and go, but to come and stay. And too often in our Christian lives we come and go, but but the Lord has invited us to come and stay. And I want to encourage you today uh, to rest in God, uh, to make Him your uh, your strong habitation, that you would continually resort there, that you would not be moved. Uh, he is unmoved. He's unmovable. And you and I must learn to come and dwell in his presence. He is our rock. He is our fortress. He's our deliverer. And uh, Christian, today, find your hope in the Lord. Father, we thank you for the day you've given to us. And Lord, our prayer is that you would help us find our hope and strength in thee. Uh, Lord, you are a rock and a fortress, you are uh, our, our strong habitation. And Father, we ask today that you would help us to live in thy presence. Lord, to not be moved by the ails of life, but that we would find our refuge in thee. Encourage our hearts in this matter, 
and help us look to thee in all things. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us today. As always, it's an honor, it's an honor to have you. We're praying for you, and we hope to see you back here tomorrow at noon. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.